Welcome everyone to Gamer Mill. Today we have some juicy news. I'm talking a custom 12 nanometer Ryzen APU that beats Intel's 10 nanometers. The 3950X has amazing clocks, AMD's Ryzen 3900 non-X variants breaks records, and Intel has a fix for their side channel vulnerabilities. But first, it's time to join over 10 million players with today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, the brand new collection RPG that's less than six months old, yet already a mega hit. And why wouldn't it be? You can collect over 400 completely customizable champions all within a fully voiced story campaign. Then there's PvP Arena, and I seriously love these graphics. Plus, they recently added the highly anticipated new Faction Wars feature. So what are you waiting for? With 90 days of daily login rewards, it's time. Go to the video description, click on the special link, and you will get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Okay, it's news time, man. First up for today, if you haven't already seen it, Microsoft recently announced some pretty wild tablets and laptops. I'm talking a fully foldable dual screen tablet and phone, as well as updated Surface laptops. Now, obviously, I don't usually cover laptops or tablets, though if you'd like to see more of that, let me know down in the comments below. Either way, what I do want to talk about is what's powering the new Surface laptops, specifically the 15-inch version. It's a new custom Ryzen APU that's kind of mind-boggling. Well, technically there's two APUs, but I'll be focusing on the Ryzen 7 3780U. Just like the Ryzen 3700U, the 3780U includes a 4-core, 8-thread CPU with a boost of 4 GHz and it's rated at 15 watts. The difference is that the 3780U comes with 11 Vega cores instead of the 3700U's 10. What's crazy is that the 3780U has the same GPU frequency as the 3700U's as well as the same CPU clocks and all, yet it's still 15 watts. Now, as far as power, according to Microsoft, it's the most powerful graphics processor in a 15-inch ultra-thin. With that said, I do have to point out the disclaimer Microsoft has that's beyond weird. It says that it's only the most powerful when compared to 15-watt processors, which is absolutely fine. I expected that. But then it refers to laptops that run AMD processors, meaning this is just the most powerful one from AMD? Of course, this really wouldn't be a story if that was all. No, AMD actually released internal testing that compares Intel's best 10 nanometer 15 watt Icelake chip against the 3780U. And in two gaming benchmarks, the 3780U actually wins. Why that's impressive is because it did it while on AMD's Zen Plus based 12 nanometer architecture and not their 7 nanometer Zen 2 architecture, meaning AMD's previous gen is actually great against Intel's next gen. With that said, this is internal testing, and Intel's actual CPU could still be faster, but given we're talking 15 watts versus 15 watts and old versus new, this is still impressive. Next up for today, while sticking with AMD for now, the company's upcoming 16-core CPU can hit some amazing clocks. For those who watch my channel, you know the 16-core Ryzen 9 3950X was delayed from September to November by AMD. And according to rumors, it's all due to AMD having issues getting to their rated clocks. Well, apparently they fixed that issue and then some, as Gigabyte recently released an overclocking guide on the 3950X, and as of writing this, it's still up. In the guide, Gigabyte makes it very clear that we can expect to get an all-core overclock of 4.3 GHz. Now, that may not seem like a lot, but you have to remember that this is a mainstream 16-core CPU. And it doesn't stop there. Apparently, some users will be able to push it even further, but as usual with Ryzen, you'll almost certainly reach a limit very soon after. As for performance when overclocked, the Cinebench scores they got are unbelievable and get even higher than Intel's 18-core 9980XE. Basically, this is really exciting and shows AMD is serious about improving clocks. Speaking of better performance, Tom's Hardware got a chance to try out AMD's Ryzen 9 3900 non-X variant before its release, and they got some serious performance out of it, meaning when the stock shortage ends, the X variant likely isn't worth the price difference. In regular testing, Tom's Hardware was able to get an all-core overclock of 4.35 GHz, which may be a bit lower than some on the 3900X, but when they pushed it on liquid nitrogen, they got the 3900 up to an unbelievable 5.5 GHz, which broke the world record on Cinebench and Geekbench for a 12-core CPU, though Geekbench was at 5.47 GHz. Very nice, especially for a non-X variant. Lastly for today, Intel is also working hard to solve the flaws in their architecture that allows for side-channeled attacks like Spectre and Meltdown. 
In a paper penned by their Strategic Offensive Research and Mitigations Department, or STORM for short, I guess from the storm of backlash they'll get if they don't fix it, the company has outlined a hypothetical memory-based hardware fix that will hopefully lead to a real solution. Unfortunately, it's just a theory for now, but from what I understand, it would likely mitigate any future vulnerabilities to their prediction-based hardware. I guess the real hope is that it just won't take too long. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for the upcoming Ryzen 9 3950X, or are you ready for trifold tablets? No? Well, Alright, well, let me know down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out Raid Shadow Legends, it really helps the channel out. And as always, have a great day.